and welcome to Shenango County 4-H's do-it-yourself at home projects. My name is Janet. Today's project is a um, recycled crafty butterfly feeder to bring pollinators to your backyard. What we're going to need for today's project are some twine or string or I'm actually using craft lacing. It's a um, plastic threading material. You're going to need a pair of skizzers, a plastic plate or lid, um, it could be a lid off a container, like if you bought um, takeout or something like that. If it's lightweight enough, you can actually use a hole punch to punch holes in to hang it. This china plate I'm using isn't quite thin enough for that, so I'm going to make a hanging harness and hot glue it onto the plate. You'll also need beads. Um, if you want to decorate, you can use pony beads like I'm going to be using. Uh, you can also use some silk flowers, silk leaves if you'd like as well, buttons, whatever you have at home for crafting. You will also need some hot glue sticks and a hot glue gun, nice and warm and ready to go. If you're a little bit too young to use a hot glue gun or if you're not comfortable do it, doing that, please have an adult or an older teen with you to help with the hot gluing. And you will need one metal washer to help as, use as a hanger and then some fruit like a banana or watermelon, something like that. So to get started, what we're going to do is, I'm going to turn my plate over. I have my hot glue nice and hot. I'm just going to cut some of the string. You can use a ruler for this if you'd like, if you want to be precise. Um, you may also use a measuring tape, depending on how long you want your harness to be. So for me, I haven't punched holes in the edges of my um, plate because it's too thick so I'm actually going to hot glue a harness underneath it in a um, plus sign and have the tops come up over and I'm going to tie it. So I'm just going to measure using my first string to create my second one so that I have something that's roughly the same length. Now I'm using green. You can use any color you want. Just a hint though, butterflies absolutely love the color red. And if you have um, a red feeder, kind of like hummingbirds, they will come into it. If you are making a fruit plate instead of a sugar um, water mixture for your feeder, try watermelon, maybe some apples with some um, red skin on them to help draw your butterflies in. So what I'm just going to do is run a string of hot glue along the bottom of my plate, like so. I'm just gonna take my string real quick. Remember, work quickly, hot glue dries fairly fast. Find the center, find the center of the plate, and just lay my lacing right in. Now, if you're to use a hole punch to punch holes in the edges of your lid or your plate, um, just make sure that they're the same distance down. Use a ruler and a Sharpie marker to mark them um, so that your feeder is actually going to hang straight when you hang it and it's not tilted to one side or the other. I'm actually using simple materials because I want to be able to take my hanger down and wash it to keep it clean so that we don't have bacteria growing in our feeders and that will ensure that our butterflies are using our feeders. So I'm going to let that dry. Run another string of hot glue. Refill my hot glue down here. This is a perfect project that if you hang your feeder somewhere near a window, um, somewhere where you can observe, you can actually do some citizen science. There are some butterfly apps out there um, that you can track what you have coming to your feeder. Also, if you go to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, DEC's website, and type in butterfly guides, um, you can print out a really nice guide on butterflies and moths in New York State. And it kind of tells you a little bit more information about our local butterflies and how to tell the difference between butterflies and moths. 
Um, something that I wasn't too sure of, but reading this really helped me out. So once this is dry, we're actually going to flip it over. And this is the fun part. This is where you get to decorate. I'm actually going to string beads down all of my strings, um, focusing on red because I want to make sure I bring butterflies in even if I don't have watermelon in my feeder. Um, banana, not quite red, but the red beads will help attract and draw attention to your feeders. So to get started, we are just going to take my pony beads And what I'm going to do is just feed them down through onto my string, like so. If you want, feel free to alternate with other colors, maybe reds and pinks. They're kind of in the same color scheme. Um, if you have buttons, if you have silk flowers, this would also be a good time to attach them to your hangers. Um, like I said, I'm probably wouldn't put anything on my plate necessarily that couldn't be washed with soap and water to help keep down the bacteria and mold growth on our plates. So I'm going to get to work on this. Once I have everything strung, I will show you how to finish your feeder. Okay, right, so I have the beads on my hanger. I have 35 beads, red and pink ones on each side. Not only will the color look pretty, um, especially with the sunlight going through. The red and pink will draw the butterflies in, but the beads actually act to stabilize your feeder um, so it doesn't blow in the wind quite as badly. So my next step is to draw up all my strings, make sure my feeder is looking fairly level, and then I am actually going to take a washer, which you can take any size washer, and just thread your strings right through it. Bigger washer is easier. Um, has a bigger hole in the middle and you're just going to kind of bring it down a little bit and then put a knot in your ends. Um, you can actually put a knot below the washer too so it doesn't move down your strings quite as, as much. Making sure that we get each end Tied up nice and tight. Bring our washer back up. And we have our butterfly feeder. Our next step is to fill your butterfly feeder um, with either a simple sugar syrup, which you can find recipes online for that, or you can um, use fruit, fresh fruit. You don't need a whole banana, it's just part of a banana cut in small pieces. Or if you have watermelon, just one slice of watermelon will work fine. Find a nice sunny spot to hang your feeder next to a window so that you can watch, take some pictures, and actually track what kind of butterflies or pollinators you have in your backyard. So for this great project and more great projects, visit us on Shenango County 4-H on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, Shenango County 4-H. Have a great day and great crafting.